Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a quick review video on the Pat McGrath Bronze Seduction Mothership 5 palette. Now this is the fifth installment in her palette series. She's got two different ranges. I have all of the palettes so far in this size and then she has smaller six pan palettes that I believe retail for $55. I was sort of interested in those. I picked up one of the palettes. There was like a pink and purpley palette and I honestly didn't love that particular palette. I didn't like the packaging. I wasn't a fan of the shades in there and I had heard a lot of people really liked the bronzier option in that series and I was tempted to pick it up but honestly I have all these big ones. So I decided it's fine, I don't need it, and I ended up returning the one I purchased as well. So I don't have any of the smaller Pat McGrath palettes, so when I review her palettes, I'm only talking about my experiences with the Mothership series. I was so excited when they announced the launch of this. I remember, I think it was announced maybe like two to three weeks ago, and I was just like waiting for September 7th to come. I have two other friends, Melissa Gold and Rented Fashion, Cat from Rented Fashion, I've mentioned both of their channels on my channel before in my videos and they're also huge Pat McGrath fans. So we have a little group on Instagram and we were going back and forth about how excited we were about the launch of this palette. I think all three of us like ordered it at the same time and Melissa lives in Australia and Pat McGrath has really stepped up her shipping game because Melissa got her palette in Australia the day after I got mine and I think it was the same day Kat got her palette so I don't know what kind of shipping they were using for overseas customers but just in case any of you guys are from overseas um, it seems like the palettes are shipping faster now and that's just based off of um, a few people I've seen on Instagram. I think I saw some girl in the UK had gotten her palette even before I did. In case you guys are not familiar with Pat McGrath, she is actually a working makeup artist. I follow her on Instagram. She's still doing like New York Fashion Week, Milan, you know, Paris. She's all over the place. So, and she works with a lot of actors and models and things like that. So she's constantly doing like these amazing looks on people and she also does a lot of throwback posts from makeup looks she had shot in the past which is really interesting especially if it was somebody newer to you i obviously didn't really know who she was until she kind of launched her makeup line which yeah i think that's pretty ignorant of me but now that i know who she is i do love her stuff and i would definitely say this is a very high-end makeup product i do not own anything else that is this pricey i mean i have a few luxury items in my collection let me know if you guys want to see a video on that the other thing too is a lot of luxury makeup is geared to lighter skin tones like i in the past tried like the chanel bronzer too light for me i tried tom ford's bronzer didn't pick up i don't think i picked up the right shade so a lot of it is kind of geared towards lighter skin tones pat mcgrath is a woman of color though so i'm hoping she'll come out with complexion products if she did like a bronzer palette i think or just like a collection of bronzers i think i'd be all over it she does have some highlighters she has an amazing lipstick collection i actually have all her liquid lipsticks i have a few of her bullet lips i have her eyeliners i have her like her eyeliner pen so i've got quite a few of her products i think Kat has like all of her bullet lipsticks, so if you guys are interested in seeing swatches and stuff, I will link my friend Kat's channel in the description box so you guys can go check her out as well. So yeah, I, I consider her very high end. Definitely a woman I admire. I bought this palette the day it launched and I received it on September 13th. So I can't tell, I don't think this is limited edition. I think this is gonna be part of the permanent line. Again, it does retail for 125. She did have a small discount code on the day of launch, so I was able to get this for 10% off and anything helps when it comes to this stuff. And there are 10 shades. Now I would say there are three mattes. This purple shade is a matte, this brown shade, and then this darker brown shade is a matte. These two shades um, are, these three shades I would say are a foiled kind of shade. They feel a little bit more chunky 
than these special shades. So these four shades are what we would call special shades. It's hard to kind of explain what the formula is like. The red shade is definitely very, very smooth and beautiful. It's kind of like a satin. And then the other three shades are very much a glitter formula like this. So I would say there's three different formulas in this palette and it's very similar to the other Pat McGrath palettes I own. So I wouldn't be a good YouTuber if I didn't do like comparisons. So for example, this is the Mothership 4 palette. This one was different to the original three. This is an all shimmer palette and now these shimmers remind me a lot of the formula in the what I called more of the foiled shadows. It has that very creamy texture but you can tell they're not chunky glitters. They glide on the skin very smoothly. There aren't any special shades in this particular palette but all of these are very statement colors so you would want to wear this on the lid. I think some people can rock shimmers in the crease. I personally prefer to keep them just on the lid. And then here are the original ones. I don't know these ones in order like most people do. So here is one of them. Of course, this one has like the more blue tones. It's a little bit more of a cool tone palette, I would say, compared to Bronze Seduction. We have this one, which is also beautiful. The special shades in this palette are gorgeous as well. There were a lot of repeats in the first three palettes because she tried to include some universal matte shades so you could kind of get an entire look out of each palette, which I think is smart, but if you bought all of them like some of us did, then you would have quite a few repeat shades. And so this is the other one that has like the beautiful green, I would say. These two probably have the more similar color story as far as like the golds and stuff. Obviously there's that statement green in this palette. I just want to swatch it for fun. If you guys haven't seen these, oh my goodness. All of these palettes are so unique. I know the price tag sounds crazy. I always wonder why people pick Natasha Denona over Pat McGrath. And I think the only thing I could really think of is that you do pay about the same amount of money for a Natasha Denona, but Natasha Denona palettes typically have around 15 shades, whereas Pat McGrath has 10 in her big ones like this. But I still think that Pat McGrath does like an amazing job. I don't know what is in these palettes, but they are so interesting to me. And She's just one of those people that she could come out with anything and I'd be like, okay, it doesn't matter. Well, especially when it comes to the larger palettes, I feel like I'm going to be collecting them unless she starts repeating shades. I can't imagine that I wouldn't keep purchasing. So obviously you can tell the packaging is very similar to the other ones and it also came in this cardboard box, which is very similar to the other palettes. And then here are the names. So she hasn't put the names in the palettes yet, um, which is kind of annoying, but Honestly, there's only 10 shades, so it's not a big deal. And then it closes and I broke my little string, but this is probably my favorite packaging from her, my favorite theme. I love warm red tones. So I wanna quickly swatch this palette for you guys. And then I filmed a demo of the palette. I filmed this look. So I wanna show that to you as well. Okay, so I'm just gonna swatch this way and then I will put the names on the screen because I don't know them off the top of my head. I've already swatched this palette on YouTube, but I felt like I didn't do it justice when I swatched it the first time because I swatched it in my kitchen and the lighting was so terrible. So you can see this shade has a, a really nice like duochrome. It's like a green pink. This one is a beautiful like rose gold. This bronze shade is pretty standard, but always comes in handy. Now my favorite matte in the palette is this purple. Oh my gosh, I love it. And this red shade, I think everyone was like dying for. So yeah, this palette is so fun, you guys. My swatches aren't like amazing, but obviously you guys will be able to tell from the demo that these perform really well on your eyes. So here are the swatches. Okay, so hopefully the swatches help. Now let's get into the demo. 
Hey guys, so I wanted to show you a demo of this palette in the review. Um, so I've actually used this palette twice now on my eyes. This will be the third time. I figured that would kind of give me a good idea of how this palette performs. I've seen reviews of this palette up already, so I don't feel like, you know, if I've used it three times, I feel like that's plenty to review it. Plus I have all of her other palettes. So kind of familiar with the formula, but this is what the palette looks like in case you haven't seen it already. This purple shade, oh my gosh, it's beautiful. I like to use this brown and this brown in my crease. So that's what I'm gonna do first, is just kind of create a crease. I also have some extra bake in my under eyes just so that if there is any fallout, um, the bake will hopefully catch it so I don't have like a ton of product sitting on my face, especially because my base is done. These matte shades blend gorgeously. You don't even need a whole lot of it. And I'm using a Morphe E22, which is a nice fluffy blending brush, but it's also a little bit precise, so it's not gonna go too crazy out of the lid area. I'm just putting it on the crease right now and trying to blend. This little like so Sony Kasha brush to kind of just add some of this shade on my brow bone. This is the shade I've used in my brow bone on all the looks I've created. It's really the only one light enough and it's like a champagne gold. So it gives a little highlight there. Dokey. So now I want to go into the darker brown. I'm just going to go back with that Morphe brush and just put that on the outer V. Just to, again, just give it more depth. Okay, so now these are her, what people call her special shades. I've worn this one on my eyes all over my lid. It's like a beautiful pinky green shade. I want to try and use as many shades as I can on my lid. We'll see. I need to use, I like to use glitter glue with her special shades. It just helps me. I haven't really seen how other people do it but I do one eye at a time so I use the Too Faced glitter glue and I like to use a little synthetic brush like this like a paddle shape and I just spread the glue on my lid like that okay so now we have to act quite fast so um, I'm gonna grab this little tart brush I have I'm gonna start with the lightest color which is like this white green shade and I'm gonna tap that on the inner corner. See the glitter glue really helps adhere the sparkles to my lid. Next I'm going to go with this rose gold color. Pat that on. So I'm going to put on all the colors I haven't worn from the palette yet on my eyes. That is beautiful and then we're going to do the red at the very end here. Okay, I want to put a little bit more of the pink shade. So there is a little bit of glitter fallout, which, you know, is to be expected. But yeah, it's kind of a fun look. And now I'm going to do the other eye. So. Yeah, that's how I like to use her special shades. I do, I do like to use glitter glue um, just because it helps adhere the sparkles and you want to work fast because the glitter glue does dry quite quickly. But yeah, this is a Too Faced Glitter Glue and I'm using a Real Techniques Detailer Brush. I think I got that in a set. And again, we're going to start with the white shade. And you can just press it 
and the glue will keep it in place, which I love. I love the Too Faced glue. I use it with the Moon Dust shadows too. By Urban Decay, I have the Moon Dust palette. It really helps make the shadows more pop, like on the lid and stuff, very much more opaque than if you didn't use a glitter glue. I feel like I have a party going on on my lids. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And then we probably want to do our lower lash line. I do love these Pat McGrath uh, Permagel liners. I have the shade Extreme Black and I have a blue and a brown shade as well. So I like to throw these in my waterline. And I've tried so many black eyeliners. This one is easily my favorite, you know, of all time. I will definitely continue to repurchase. Hopefully she won't stop making them. And then I want to do um, some detail. I'm going to go in with this purple shade because I think it's so pretty. I'm just going to blend that into my lower lash line. I'm not very good at doing my lower lash line. I don't know. Some people like blend to the gods. I feel like it's definitely a skill I could improve upon. But there we go. that's done and then I have this mascara which is so fun it's by L'Oreal and this is their uh, voluminous original but the shade is uh, burgundy and I've been using this on the top and bottom lashes but who was I watching I was watching somebody and they're like oh my gosh I bought the burgundy mascara and I really like to use it on my lower lash line I'm like oh my god that sounds like such a fun idea so I kind of want to use it just on my lower lash line I should probably dust away the bake first I'm gonna grab my handy dandy this is an amazing brush R3 uh, by Morphe oh my gosh I got a lot of powder on here I've been also loving the Charlotte Tilbury um, wonder powder or whatever it's called it's so nice and I think I just dust away all my highlight <laughs> whatever anyway yeah so that Charlotte Tilbury powder is amazing as well this is the Monsieur Big mascara this is my first time using a full size of it because I had a few samples and then I bought a full size and I don't usually buy high-end mascaras I just totally got that on my eyeshadow great and my face awesome Okay guys, I hope you found that demo helpful. I think it's always fun to see the palettes. I don't always film demos in my review videos, but since this palette is so new and is such a big ticket item, I thought it might help you guys to see what some of the shades look like on my skin tone. At this point, I've tried all the shades in the palette and I do think it's very consistent to her formula. So I would definitely recommend picking it up if you have been interested, especially if these shades speak to you. I know some of the other palettes, it might have not been people's vibe. You know, it's like, uh, what am I gonna do with all these cool tones? Or like, uh, there's a black in every palette, like what do I do? This one, she really switched it up, so I don't think anyone would really regret purchasing it. I always say if you don't have access to a Sephora store and you can't go and shop, which is my issue as well, always try and buy it from a place where you can return it. I really don't feel bad returning stuff, especially because I don't have the opportunity to go in to Sephora and try out their luxury products. So hopefully Sephora understands that. It's not because I'm trying to be baseful. So 
If you're not sure about this palette, see if there's a friend that has it that can let you swatch it. Otherwise, I would honestly just order it on Sephora and you can always return through the mail as well. They have a really easy return process. Please don't come for me for telling you guys that. This is just my honest opinion. I get that 125 is not an easy amount to you know, dish out on a palette that you've never been able to swatch or test out. So that's just my humble opinion on that. I don't think anyone would regret purchasing it, but obviously that's just me talking about my experience. I think this palette is going to work for many different skin tones. I think you can definitely foil these shades as well. I like to use them with my glitter glue like I showed you guys. So overall, is this like a life-changing palette for me I think it is I think it's very cool those special shades always make it a little bit more interesting than any other palette I have had my eye on the Too Faced gingerbread palette but you know I think that one is gonna be more basic this these special shades just make these palettes extra interesting to me even though this you know color story has been done a million times before I promise you that you're not gonna find shades like this with the flip so I would definitely recommend trying this palette out I'm gonna stop going on and on about it I hope you found this video useful if you did don't forget to give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below do you have all of these palettes if so which is your favorite one are you planning on picking up any of them if not you know just leave me a comment tell me how you feel let me know if you like review videos and I will see you in my next one bye guys